What's going on everybody? Hope you are well and that 2022 is treating you well. On this channel, we talk about hair loss, we talk about hair systems, we talk about all the different choices that you have and how it pertains to being a better man. Today, we're gonna be taking a look at Matt Dominance, who is another YouTuber and a video that he actually put up just today on the 20th. And this video is actually entitled, Stop Finasteride for two weeks and this happened. Now, uh, interesting video because this is the thumbnail right here. <laughs> um, so very compelling and probably tells me it might be a little bit about, you know, the wee wee. So let's just go through this video right here and I'm gonna react to it, give you my thoughts on what he's saying because I think it's pretty compelling. Let's jump in. I'd like to share with you in this video one of the changes that I was able to observe after stopping finasteride for the last two weeks. And I have been taking finasteride for about two years and it was 0.5 milligram every single day. This type of dosing comes with a suppression of your systemic DHD of about 70%. I didn't do the DHD test because it would be pointless. Uh, it's 70% DHD suppression. It had been uh, studied in several placebo controlled studies. There's no need to test it in my opinion. I know, and we know based on this study also, that your DHE will come back or should come back to normal levels after 14 days of discontinuing the drug, finasteride or Provisha. And although I have never experienced any worrisome side effects from this drug for the you know two years of taking it, and you can watch my one year and two year updates uh, here, I'm gonna link it. Despite of that, I was able to feel better in some way. And I'm gonna hmm. show you in a brief moment. I'm gonna go from the day one until the day 14 of stopping it. So. Now, the side effects that I initially got, I described already in my previous updates. It was just a slight pain in your balls, in my balls uh, in this case. Uh, many guys have it, you know, slight, uh, you know, when you're ejaculating for the first couple times after you started, Propecia or Finasteride, you can also feel weird, maybe slightly painful, but then it goes away. And that was my Yikes. case. However, after I stopped, some things started to change. The day number three and day number four, I was starting to observe something. First of all, I started to think about sex more. While being on Finasteride, let's say last month, last two, three months, I was thinking about having sex, maybe once a day, and it went maybe five to ten times a day. After the third, fourth day of me stopping hmm. Finasteride, I'm just describing what I felt. Then, I felt more aroused during masturbation, watching porn, and having sex. During all these activities, I felt more aroused. Hmm. My boner, this is something I really enjoyed. My boner lasts longer in the morning. The morning would, all right? You get it, you know, because your testosterone kind of spikes during the morning hours. As, wow. as a result of that, you should be waking up with a boner every day. That's how a man should feel. Obviously, I was also having it while in finasteride. However, it wasn't as hard, and it didn't last as long as once I stopped finasteride. Wow. So that was the other observation, which was very pleasant, and it was quite surprising to me because I never felt like a decrease in that intensity of my morning wood or frequency of my morning wood while being hmm. on finasteride. I never felt it was a decrease. So that's, that's something interesting and fascinating to me at the same time to see that once I stopped, I felt an improvement. It wasn't very significant, but pretty obvious to me. It was pretty noticeable. To me, this is like really massive stuff. I mean, dude is talking about pain in his balls, uh, his erections being better, thinking about sex more. Obviously, there is some kind of suppression going on, whether or not that is placebo or that is actual, uh, like something that is being caused by the drug is another conversation. But we're just going to assume that it's caused by the drug. This has been going on for two years. It's not something that is short. But anyways, this guy is suffering some very serious side effects, in my opinion. Now, thinking about sex less, having less consistent boners, not having your morning, morning wood, thinking just overall, like your sex drive not being as pronounced is kind of serious to me. So after you stop it, it comes back to normal. It should always come back to normal. That's what doctors say. That's what uh, almost everybody uh, agrees on and also the medical literature. So I wasn't worried about it. I had lesser of ejaculation volume while on finasteride, but right now I can already confirm that it's more. It's pretty much what I used to have before. So I can mm. confirm that, okay? Even if I'm not abstaining from masturbation, because obviously if you're abstaining, maybe for four or five days, you should have more volume. Now, while I was on finasteride, the volume didn't change so much based on whether I was uh, abstaining for a day or five days from ejaculating. But right now, if I abstain for one or two days versus five days, and not being on finasteride, it's gonna be a big difference in terms of the ejaculation volume. I've tested it out. So I'm more sensitive to, to that. So if I abstain for longer, the ejaculation volume is much bigger. Now, wow. day six and 12, that was the second week, I guess, until the day, that's the day 14. I have some notes here as well. Uh, while having sex, I was able to get harder quicker and also get harder again quicker after having already uh, ejaculated, all right? So that's good. Uh, hmm. Again, thinking about sex more, also during the second week, uh, while being off of finasteride, and obviously if you have a better erection, you're able to get it up quick and it stays harder longer, even that orgasm is more intense. It feels better, okay? So I can confirm that, you know, we could discuss, but I think that the orgasms that one can have, uh, you know, while not being on finasteride are probably better, more enjoyable than while you are on finasteride, because also you ejaculate less, you maybe don't feel as hard, you know, so definitely it's, it's, it's better here. And yeah, so still no hair loss, okay? The second week, I'm not on finasteride, nothing's gonna happen, you know, two weeks are fine. Uh, it's not like you're gonna start shedding like crazy. I am coming back on finasteride after this second week, because I think it's a good thing to be on finasteride if you uh, had a hair transplant if you are a hair transplant patient and you want to keep your hair, so we know the benefits. However, I'm going to be taking less right now. I'm not going to be taking 0.5 milligram every day, but I'm going to be taking 0.5 milligram every other day. And I think it's actually better to 
maybe not take it every day, you know, based on what I learned, but maybe take also maybe have some days off. Because during the days off, you may actually feel different and you will be able to assess what like not being on Finasteride right on that day can do to you, if you know what I mean. Because had I not stopped Finasteride right for 14 weeks, and I was fine during these two years, but had I not stopped for the last two weeks, I, I wouldn't have understood how differently one can feel if I'm not on Finasteride. Right. So, I mean, to me, this whole video is like really interesting and I'm gonna stop it right there. Uh, but essentially Matt is saying that, you know, he has gone off an asteroid for the first time in like two years. And over this phase, he's started to realize that um, well, his sexual performance is better when he's not on finasteride. He's come off of it two weeks and he's starting to feel different, he's starting to feel better, and therefore he wants to actually take less finasteride. So, uh, you know, this is something that uh, I, I just think it's interesting and I think it's something that people should be exposed to because while, uh, you know, sexual side effects don't happen to every person, they are possible and uh you know they might be a little bit more minute and then just like hey i can't get it up now versus i could get it up before could be you know i don't feel like my erections are quite as strong could be i just don't feel like you know my semen volume is quite as large um but the, these are things that are, are worth noting and it seems to me like Matt's like i kind of want i, I want to feel better in this regard right here so i'm going to take less uh finasteride and see how little i can get away with and see if that that'll uh help me in this area you know <laughs> with hair loss it's not something unfortunately where there is like this one crystal clear solution that you should go for that's going to solve all of your problems and make it super duper easy and it's just going to be super efficient uh you know there's hair transplants there's hair fibers there's shaving your head there's hair systems there's there's a lot of different solutions out there there's smp but they all have their like their pros and their cons their drawbacks and their, their things that they do really really well now I, I love matt you know i talk with him every once in a while he's a cool dude um, and you know, he, he's dealing with his choice, uh, some of the side effects, right? Like one of the things that we have to deal with is of course the adhesive, right? It's not super fun, not super cool to do that. Uh, but you know, it, it is what it is, right? Anyways, this is something that you need to be exposed to and realize that it's possible that you could deal with these types of side effects. You may not, but you could, and you know, make an informed decision and deal with it. You know, however your risk tolerance says is the right path forward for you. So anyways, make sure you go follow Matt Dominance because he does a lot of great videos on uh, hair loss related content and he's a good dude. So uh, make sure you give him a follow and uh, make sure you like this video and I'll see you guys soon.